89.3 Nigeria Info. And I have an announcement to make. <coughs> Lagos, um, for the last four years and nine months, you have called me your president, as I have brought you hard facts. But every president's term should come to an end. That's why today I must announce that Friday will be my last show as the host of Hard Facts. Now, of course, this was bound to come, but I know that it doesn't make it easier for you. It doesn't make it easier for me because for almost five years, you have welcomed me into your cars. You have welcomed me into your offices, your homes, your hearts. I've never taken that for granted. I've always been very grateful for it. It has kept me humble. It has motivated me to put in the long hours of research and prep to give you the best show possible five days a week for almost five years. <laughs> You've also been in my home and in my heart. I take you home every day. You know, somebody says something on the show and I go home and I think about it for a long time. How do I come and respond to this thing tomorrow? <laughs> you know, um... I'm not moving on because I'm tired. I could never be tired of this job. I could very easily see myself hosting hard facts for the next five years and the five after that and the next five, but life is about growth. Life is about change. Life is about evolution. I'm growing, so is hard facts, and so are you. So what happens next? Well, I'll be your host until the end of the week. Um, I want to assure you the hard facts will be in good hands. It's still Nigerian for last last. Come on. Like we're still like the number one waiting we call us talk talk station of the nation. Radio station of the year, don't forget. Like we won that this year. And of course, one million Lagosians still cannot be wrong if they listen to hard facts. So for the rest of the week, I'll continue to do exactly what you've come to expect me to do. I will give you the facts on the biggest stories of this week i'll let you form an informed opinion and we're going to have more than enough time to say see you later because it's not goodbye it's really not now i've got sheriff here i've got feta here i've got vaughn here i've got my intern here i don't know why her eyes are red please don't your eyes should not be red <laughs> But Sheriff and I are on a show for the first time on my time slot. It took yeah. me leaving for you to get into the studio with are, me. Are you sure? Uh, yes, no. This is the first time you've been on Hard Facts. Ah. Yeah. And we've been together for how many years? I know, right? I know. Mm. <laughs> Look, um, there is no easy way to say it. I, I know that it's hard. It's pretty much hard for... It's harder for um, the fans of um, Hard Facts, the listeners of Hard Facts and the listeners of Nigeria Info in general, I know quite a number of people are alarmed right now. They're like, no, 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 no. She didn't say that. No, no, no. She, it was a mistake from somewhere. It's probably uh, she slipped or something. Yeah, but um, at some point in everybody's existence, um, you, you're going to have to have bigger things, bigger dreams, uh, unless you're dead, the Yoruba people would always, there's a proverb, they say that, you know, joke will adjust me, which means that it's when you're dead that you, you, f you finally rested. And as long as you're alive, there are big aspirations that everybody wants to aspire to. There are bigger dreams, you, you have targets, you have set um, um, targets for yourself that you must accomplish within such a period of time and all. And we all have got that. And I always tell people around me, like, look, it's not enough to be in a comfort zone and you feel like um, it's everything and everything. You've accomplished it all. There's nothing left for you to accomplish. If that's the case, well, good luck to you. That's how you feel. You know, but then in our profession, you never retire. Um, even if you have the gray, uh, if you have gray hair all over your head and everywhere, <laughs> you know that you still continue to be to a broadcaster. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, um, it's a it's a calling that you know, it's 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 timeless. Let's put it that way. Um, so I believe, um, even though Sandra will be leaving us, she is still with us. And um, I'd like to say a very big thank 
uh, you to Sunrise at Wesley. She has brought in so much depth into radio. She has redefined broadcast journalism. Um, she has uh, been a mentor to a lot of people. Uh, those that she knows, those, she, those that she doesn't know, she's, she's not even aware of many more people that are looking up to her. Um, she's a consummate professional. She is an amazing personality. She gives her best to everything she lays her hands on. Um, if you're a member of the Nigeria Info family, you understand what I'm saying because she just wants to impact. She doesn't compromise. She doesn't cut corners. Um, at every point in time, what sh you should, what we expect, we always expect, you know, from Sandra is excellence. Anything below 99.9% .9 is not Sandra. And you could tell from the deliverables, the um, targets met and all of those things. I mean, we can, we can continue to mention some of our innovative ideas, you know, top of the bottom of my mind right now, top of, top of my mind right now is the, um, I beg to differ debate competition, you know, that I'm sure Sandra, a lot of people are asking <laughs> what, what is to going that? to happen. Don't so worry. I beg to it's, differ. It's, it's here. It's going to yeah. stay. It's not going anywhere. So, Look, um, the, the ideas are, there are too many to mention. Uh, when, when you talk of um, Sandra Isaquisili, um, the legacy is there. It, it will be here uh, with us on Nigeria Info. I, I'd, like, I'd like to thank you um, very deeply for your service, for everything. It's sad. It's very sad. Um, very shocking. You know, I said this in our <laughs> meeting. Yes. When, when she sent me the message... <laughs> I kept typing, I kept deleting, kept typing, kept deleting for like 10 minutes. I did not know what to write. I did not know how to respond. Um, for the first time in a long while. Um, and that's a lot for a journalist, a, yeah. a radio broadcaster, because all we do is talk. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I didn't have an answer. I didn't know how to respond, how to react. I was really, really shocked. And in the end, I said, look, man, <laughs> there's nothing I want to tell you that you've not been told. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, in fact, his message is like, if CEO at GM did not keep you, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it was so... Because I, I didn't know what to say again. Like, yeah. ah, Sandra, why are you leaving? Why? What do you want? You want a house? <laughs> you want a private jet? You know, you know? I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, th thank you to Sheriff as well. Yeah. So for, for those who don't know, Sheriff is also the program manager at Nigeria Info. So all the great programming that you hear on Nigeria Info um, is because Sheriff keeps such a tight watch on what we do. He and Ufoma, who's also the um, editorial board chairman. And Sheriff runs such a tight ship, you know. So thank you, Sheriff, for visionary leadership. Uh, thank you, thank you. you. Know? Sheriff and I fought thank a you. lot, too, but, you know, we also love each other. It's, <laughs> it's part of the job, It's right? part of the job. You're going to fight, but you're going to love as well. I mean, uh, so to add to that, that's essentially what contributed to the quality of um, content that we put out. Yeah. So we don't just sit at, at our meetings and we laugh and we say kumbaya. Of course, yeah. we, we argue, we disagree so with, you say oh you know, i want to things. talk about him feel sheriff will say why why do you want to talk about i'll him? say okay because this 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 sheriff okay but which guest are you getting i'll say okay but this guest is like no 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 I, I don't know that i okay get somebody to counterbalance what that guest is gonna say like it's a very yeah. tough process mm. but that's what ensures that nigeria info is the radio station of the year yeah <laughs> thank you again sandra thank you sheriff mm. i've got vaughn here i don't know vaughn why are you looking sad she's you gonna look, she's gonna cry she, okay. look I'm please don't cry, cry. <laughs> then I will I'm, not, cry. I'm not going to cry if you cry i will cry i'm not going to cry because i walked into the studio last week and sandra just said i'm leaving oh very casually she just said i'm leaving oh at first i was like ah stop it why are you joking this kind of place too expensive this cool afternoon <laughs> like i'm serious i'm leaving i'm like oh, why you know what sheriff said why? Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> if you leave, what's going to remain of us? <laughs> <laughs> so I had the whole weekend. She said she she told me on a on a Thursday. So I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday to process. You know that Sandra was leaving, 
and then to just you know to cry to just let it all out <laughs> and now i'm like yeah you know as she said even 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 the president after four years he gets hands been. over to somebody else <laughs> That's right? right except he's re-elected but sandra has opted out of re-election so <laughs> there's, <laughs> so there's nothing re-election and lifetime presidency <laughs> <laughs> so look Lagos, it's hard but yeah we have to I don't want to say we have to say goodbye because goodbye it's is not too goodbye. final. It's you know, not goodbye. It's not. See you later. It's see you later. Exactly. See you later, alligator. Okay. So, but Sandra, I have to really thank you because, you know, you were one of those people who helped me when I first joined this this uh, fine establishment. You were one of the people uh, who, you are still one of the people who inspire me to, you know, do a better job every day. You know, sometimes on the Sunday morning show, people mistake me for yeah. you. Are you serious? I've heard that a m- couple of times. Hello, Sandra. I'm like, look, I'm not Sandra. I'm Yvonne. I hear that. <laughs> always, always. They never fail to mistake, you know, the just, I don't know. Yeah. But that's just to show that you really did inspire, do inspire me to Aww. deliver as much as I'm able to Aww. deliver. Aww. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for I beg to differ. Which you know, it's such a beautiful, beautiful, and it will um, continue. Yes. It will continue. Indeed, it's indeed, continue. it will continue. Yeah. But it will never be the same without you. Anyway, it will be better, uh, but never the same without you, Sha. Okay, it no. will be better. <laughs> <laughs> be it, on Skype on <laughs> it will be better. <laughs> <laughs> it will be better. I've got Zainab here. Zainab just looking at me. Zainab trying not cry. That one is lost. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for waking her uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> Zainab, uh, do you wanna? Do you want to say something or do you just want to just chill? Uh, Sandra, I have a lot to say, but I think I'll just keep it short because it's a very big shock. And I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to understand why is this happening? (laughs) (laughs) Sandra. Why does everybody keep asking uh, me why? I don't know, because we just sort of thought you would leave and I'll retire here. here. (laughs) (laughs) here. (laughs) We thought you probably would come and pour my ashes on the coast coast coast. coast. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Well, Sandra, like I did message, you yeah. know, the other day after editorial meeting, you are someone I hold in high esteem. And I love you, to be very honest. Oh, I love you I, too, <laughs> um, I don't... <laughs> Oh, Zay, don't do that. If you do that now, Aww. Lagos will start to cry too. Please. Yeah. Sandra, we're going to miss and, uh, you. And you have successfully made the entire Lagos cry. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Zayna, don't cry. Oh, come Aww. here, Zay, baby. <laughs> now, if you hug, I'm going to start okay, crying. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sandra, you've been a very big inspiration. And I love the fact that uh, even without directly working with you, you, you believe so much in me. Oh. And I remember the time you've mentioned it over and over again oh, that you like the way I break. work and the work ethic. Yeah, Sandra, I'm going to miss you personally. Oh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss cry. you. Okay, okay. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. Oh, oh, Lagos, okay. it's, uh, it's an emotional evening here. <laughs> 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 it is quite emotional. Yes, it is. All right. Um, so uh, I've got the, my he- our head of research here, who was on Hard Facts for a while as uh, Sankara <laughs> on just, I Beg to Differ. He just blew my cover. You know, <laughs> 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 on I Beg to Differ before I Beg to Differ was taken over by the students. John Makite, good to have you here. Yeah, um, for me, it's uh, it's an emotional moment for me. I mean, when she told me, I couldn't believe it. I, because you no know, coach wants his best stud- uh, best players to leave. You understand, and particularly because for me, I know the history of Art Fact. You know, um, um, I- Ayo Makina was here with um, Leila Johnson. Yeah. And while we we're tr- trying to stabilize, Leila left, and um, I think uh, Victoria people came on board. Then they were also trying to stabilize. Ayo left. Yeah. <laughs> then our came. We're trying to stabilize. We are pulling. <laughs> so how they, you know, and you don't have to joke with your draft. I'm sure yeah. you understand. And I remember when Sam came on board, I was scared. That I hope <laughs> maybe it's, um, Howard I will leave or Sandra that will leave. <laughs> you know, but something struck me about Sandra was she she was asking. She came and said she wants to understand the ratings. She wants to know who, who the numbers, the audience. You know, particularly the Lagos audience. What should we do? 
and you know she kept following up i could see you know month in month out always asking oh what's this what should i do what should i change i think i've seen this this is working this is not working you know and i remember when she eat one million. <laughs> oh, oh! I was, I was, I was ungovernable. <laughs> because I, you couldn't tell me anything. What, what? was that about? <laughs> In our words, it was, you're joking. It's a, it's a lie. <laughs> you know, and 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 for the records, this was a. You know, show that was having just I think over 200,000 people listening, mm -hmm. and audience retention was very low. Mm -hmm. I think less than 10 percent. Yeah. And you know, in a very short space of time, Sandra was able to you know improve and one million. It's uh, and you know for the record, there was a time that you know we're trying the face when we're trying to you know stabilize the um, station, and Sandra was basically the one of the programs. Sandra's program was one of the programs that was holding down. Mm -hmm the station and you know there was a time she called and said <laughs> the even drive time alone cannot you know hold down the station we need to do something and uh, with a lot of work we got the jagaban here <laughs> she <laughs> called on the morning show and <laughs> uncle jimmy i call him the joker <laughs> so for me i mean it's it's a good time and thank you very much for the good memories thank you you know uh, I don't know, but I mean, we'll, we'll get, we'll do something. We go yeah. see, we go <laughs> see. You know my person. <laughs> All right, the big boss himself is here, Femi Obong Daniels. Uh, Mr. GM, good to have you on Hard Facts. Join me on Hard Facts. The only time that Femi and I work together is when he's reading the news. And can I just say, Lagos, Femi Bong Daniels is the best news reader I've ever heard in my life, period. Yeah. And I say that to him all the time. Like, when I'm producing, I love producing the news for Femi because, like, he makes it sweet. You know how you're, like, eating something and you don't want the thing to finish? That's how it is, listening to Femi read the news. That's how it is, producing the news for, for Femi Obong Daniels. I will miss having him coming, you know, sometimes to come and read the news for us. But um, it's great to, to have you join Hard Facts on non-news non duties, even though this is kind of news. You will do this thing now, <laughs> and I will begin to become proud. <laughs> <laughs> pride. <laughs> Pride will, pride will take me over. I'll begin to <laughs> behave like Ufa Mike Bamuno. Um, I don't know. There's, there's another time that I'm in the studio with you, usually. Mm. Um, at the finals. Oh, my back to differ. Oh, my back to differ. That's right. I've, I've gotten used to being with you yeah. in, this, in the studios. Yeah. Um, you see this thing, eh? There are different things that happen in life. Some things are hard uh, to take. I've seen um, J uh, John um, McIndy, who heads our research team. I, you know, he was just reeling out the numbers, mm. which is what he does. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a numbers he's guy. He's a numbers guy. <laughs> yeah. And, and like they say, numbers don't lie. Mm. Um, you know, I, I, when he came to my office, when, when the news broke to him, uh, um, he came panicked which is what i would expect i was waiting for him i knew he was going to panic into my office <laughs> and then he panicked into my office as usual and then we had this conversation and i'm like the first thing i do what am i supposed to do should i tie it's <laughs> like he's looking at me like or oh, why do I'm something like, how am I, what am i supposed to do <laughs> and 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 you know that thing about um life and progress at every point um, in life, you make progress. I remember that Sandra and I had not even met physically. I, and I don't know if you'll remember this, Sandra. Mm -hmm. I think perhaps maybe one of the earliest interactions I had with you was a commendation email I sent you. Yes, after my parents on Al Jazeera. I, I saw you. I just caught Sandra on Al Jazeera. And I sent her. She was, you know, uh, she, w she was the, the runaway star in Port Harcourt, and so these people will find this strange. Not Port Harcourt, Nigeria, but Port Harcourt, cool, cool FM, FM yeah. cool FM, Port Harcourt. Yeah. And, and I just, I heard her in an interview on Al Jazeera, and I was so super proud. Of course, I already knew you, mm -hmm. but we hadn't like in one month. Mm -hmm. Good Lord, this person is not only a professional, this person is also passionate. And this person is also very loyal to her brand. Mm. She takes her job seriously. She takes her brand seriously. And I could not, in that interview, at the point I was almost stopping you, every sentence, she would preface it with, you see what we do on our, my station, Cool FM. 
<laughs> my station Cool FM. I was like, you know, I was like, in this age, in the 2020s, to find a broadcaster who is this passionate about their brand, this loyal about their brand, it is scarce. I just went to my uh, computer and sent that commendation email. I meant every single word that I said there. And, and you know, you, you become too big for certain. Sometimes a whole city cannot contain you. Sometimes a whole country can no longer contain you. Mm. Um, uh, Potakot couldn't contain Sandra anymore. She, you know, it was just inevitable. I, uh, I hate that I have to interrupt you, but yeah. we have to take a break. Yes, let's take And there's break. a sign in the mm -hmm. studio that says that we must take the break. Yeah. Or they will deduct <laughs> my money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh, and, or mine too. He will deduct the money. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take this break. We'll be right back. Lagos, don't go away. Let's talk. It's two minutes story time. Fun day at the museum from where we stopped yesterday. Hooray! The children exclaimed as they scrambled out of the gates in excitement. Mr. Lakunde stood by the bus with a huge grin. Careful, children, watch your step and line up, he called as the walk whipped the bus to the Zikanas and Kibbutz. Mrs. Bimbo loved singing, and in no time she started a song. The children joined in and sang all the way to the museum, and it was such a fun ride. As they filed out of the bus, a tall young lady walked out of the museum towards them. She was very pretty and was wearing a colorful skirt made from Ankara fabric. Hello, children. My name is Enuma Ahmed, and I am the curator of this museum. This is my assistant, Mr. Toby. We will be showing you around the museum. Good morning, the children chorused. And it's time to say bye-bye for today. Join me tomorrow for the next part of our reading. From me, Auntie Norma, it's bye-bye. hard work, determination, and sweat to achieve them. That's why you need Dubai Anti-Petrol Deodorant with 48-hour protection. Dubai keeps you unapologetically fresh and confident every day. Dubai. Sweat it. Don't smell it. Get Dubai Anti-Petrol Deodorant today. Dubai is endorsed by the Nigerian Association of Dermatology.
14 weeks of pure genius on Africa Magic, NBA, and TVC. Cowbellpedia. So good, so smart. Uncle Dentist, what's a cavities? And how does Colgate protect my teeth from cavities? Does it eat kung fu? <laughs> no, dear. Most tooth pains are caused by two colds called cavities. Only brush daily with Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection. Its expert formula blocks natural calcium in our teeth and helps protect them from cavities. It's time to upgrade to the world's most potent toothpaste, Colgate, because Colgate locks calcium in... Keep fighting, Mom! Colgate is recommended by the Nigerian Dental Association. Oh, my Unconditional. Nothing serves this love better than a bowl of indomie. So, show some love with indomie. Get in on the action with Betano, your exciting destination for thrill of sports betting. Enjoy an award-winning experience with amazing betting options, cash out, and meters, as well as other features. Join now and get a welcome bonus of up to 100,000 Naira. Betano.ag. The game starts now. Wow. What's that? It's not a snail. It's... It's a genie. Yeah, it's just like confidence. Mm, just like power. <laughs> like all day deodorant roll on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let your essence announce you. Buy your all day roll on today from stores near you. Refill, refill. Oh, it's with your no, no. Recharge, recharge, recharge. Oh, please, let's go. Uh -uh. This thing they happen. Now, where people they sip well, gas, and full stuff with them they carry. Oh, gas, if it's you, never hear. Say, wait, say. Ah. The Obonje Agrox Stores Relief Package for everyone to buy land with ease this season. And you will get refill, refuel, regas, and recharge. Uh -huh. I bet you me make a deal. Enjoy up to 40 to 50% discount on top any land where you buy this season. And trade balance within 12 to 24 months without use. Or make you enjoy 30% discount and trade the balance within 48 months. Or make you get a refill of bag of rice, carton of noodles. Or make you get a regas, refuel, or recharge on top your prepaid meter or rechargeable land. Terms and condition deal. We still also subscribe to our daily payment plan where you still pay as low as 500 naira daily to buy your land. For more queries, you still visit any of our office or reach us for this number 070 351208 or 080 60 60 Oh boy, you buy fuel fast for real. Now Bebo, Bebo they summer thousands of people with free fuel, one year rent support, school fees, electricity payment, and plenty money for shopping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, sir. to qualify for a chance to win, just do two more transactions with your bank card every week. The more you transact, the more chance you get to win. Promo runs from August 3rd to January 31st, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. Ask your bank for a Verb card today. Verb, enjoy the good life. Welcome, Daddy. What would you like to have? Give me Avant and the correct quality. How about you, Auntie? Egusi and the better swallow. You call my sister. Me Jada and the correct swallow, right? <laughs> you know what, child? Golden Penny Thermovita. <laughs> That's right. Golden Penny Thermovita is my fifth fresh choice. Made with premium meat and enriched with vitamins. It's the right combo for Nigerian foods. 
golden penny for Nizika, my sweet first choice. Wake up, sleepy head. It's joking. Oh. Fine. What's the plan for today? Okay. So we have a 9 a.m. parent meal appointment with Sir Salmon. At 3 p.m., we're going to be watching the new superhero movie, Cat Brain with Nizika and his friends. At 6, at 8, we're going to try out the new restaurant at the wharf. And eh? All that in one day? Enjoy the goodness of Olympic meals to own your day. Olympic meals, day after. Ah! Oh man, now Swiss flower lipid air freshener spray be that. It won't get me to sasa more. Check as now, it don't appear for me on that 40-way the totally person. The same quality, the same quantity, now inside the side and the price there, it don't change at all. Now so with the run taste be that, it make you grab for office, your house, shop and everywhere. This scent is the power, no be store. You get them for 500 million. And 250 milliliter bottle. The product will be available for weekly shop and stores the way near you for your journey. Swiss flower air fresheners. Make you freshen your mind. Welcome on board Best Trip Evening for Flights with Wing Wing. Yes, it's time to take flight into more fun. Pilot your way on aviator with as little as 50 naira. Watch as your wind rises by the second and hit the cash out button before it descends. There's so much fun on Best Team Aviator. Just bet on it. Visit BetTeam.com. Start playing Aviator and the other exciting casino games. That's aiming at Best Team. your day with the nutritious and delicious goodness of golden mon now available in 30 grams 45 grams 300 grams 600 grams and 900 grams packs a pack size for everyone golden mon make every day golden Select fine quality tea leaves from selected tea gardens around the world. Experience Lipton Yenilevu's flavorful and balanced taste in every sip. Discover Lipton's flavorful and balanced taste. You've got big dreams, but you know it'll take hard work. Bam! Get ready for double wahara at the moment as you tune in this all-star season. Sure dishwashing liquid. Not be washed. We are back. I am Sandra as I tuned in. I told you that my term as your president has come to an end. I will introduce you to your new president very soon. Uh, Friday is my last show on the air. Uh, and I have the rest of the team in the studio with me to say goodbye and do their best to make me cry. But president will be cry. That's right. <laughs> you go still cry. <laughs> Honor Annie Wobodo is here. Honor Annie Wobodo is in the newsroom. You've probably heard him on Mondays during the newsroom. By the way, you should listen to the newsroom every Monday from 6.15. The newsroom brings you the newsroom. Uh, Honor is our editor on seat today. So he quickly just has to say something and then go back to preparing the 5 p.m. news and the 6 p.m. news for you. Honor has never been on my show ever. And we've been <laughs> together. We've been together. We, we were together in Port Harcourt. And now we're here in Lagos together. And this is the first time Honor is stepping into the studio with me at the same time. Hi, Honora. Uh, Sandra, I just have to say I'm short of words. <laughs> <laughs> but the issue is that I'm happy that finally we are being together in the studio. At the same time, yeah. At the same time. In Port Harcourt back then, we had a rapport without me knowing that I was even dealing with someone that's close to me. Yeah. All that might say goodbye to you, but I know that Professionally and out of professionalism. Yeah, village say, meeting. Uh, yes, we're going to meet for village. I will say goodbye. Shahare. I am not going to say bye bye. Okay. I will not. Okay. But I will feel bad that I'm here in Lagos and you are leaving. Mm. But all the same, I thank God that you are leaving for greater heights. 
we meet to part and we'll part to meet again. I believe right. when we meet again, it's going to be <laughs> on a better footing. GM, mm. you can see that we produce something good. You try. <laughs> when I try. So, mm. Sandra. Sir. As you're going on. Thank you. Make sure that that flame is still flying. Still, still, still burning. Still burning. Burning. No, burning. Sorry, sorry. Don't, See, I don't, don't, I don't, don't know English don't, like that. Don't lower the flag. Don't lower it. Please. Okay. Thank you. And Legosians, you can see that she's getting to a greater height and I believe that where she's going, she will still remember and be an ambassador of this very brand. Mm -hmm. From cool and day she's guilty of arson. <laughs> they will come and catch you. <laughs> we have it on national radio. You're encouraging her to go and burn other people's place. <laughs> don't be yourself. Okay. Don't be yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, the sky, to me, will not just be the limit. It's going to be the stepping stone to where you're going. Yeah. If you just keep it up and then make sure that you strike the balance, mm. be fair, and be firm. Mm. Thank you, GM. I have to stop it here. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much, Honor. Uh, I really appreciate it's it. It's strange. He keeps calling GM. Who's GM? Who's GM? You now. <laughs> you don't know your title again. We are on radio now. <laughs> am, I, am I GM on radio? I'm Femi. Yeah, GM. Am I the host of the show? <laughs> All right, mm. so let's come to Emmanuel Oyewole. Emmanuel Oyewole is um, our head of admin. And your partner in crime. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let him. I'll let him do that if he wants to do that. <laughs> well, I don't know if you want me to go there, but <laughs> so. Okay, so um, I think the first time I saw Sandra, I was like, who is this short, fine girl? <laughs> <laughs> Your father. <laughs> you know, what, for, for me... The, You're lucky we're the radio. <laughs> You're lucky we're live on air. <laughs> the major attraction for me was, was our intelligence, you know? You know, as a person who works in radio station, sometimes because of the busy schedule, you are you're mm. almost not listening to your station mm. because you're working. Yeah. But for me, there are some shows I consciously listen to because I enjoy them. One of them is Hard Facts. Another is The Morning Crossfire. I consciously listen to those shows. And sometimes, even when I'm not you at like work... You like hard things. Um, you like fight. <laughs> <laughs> Morning Crossfire, Hard Facts. <laughs> you like Wahala. You know, so, I mean, Sandra, I'm, I'm going to miss you. And the thing is, I mean... I'm, I'm also saying my goodbyes. So when I told Sandra, she didn't give me any inclination that she had anything up her sleeves. <laughs> she was like, oh, why are you doing this, this, that, that? One of my guys here, you are going. <laughs> Only for me to hear the following <laughs> week that Sandra is I'm like, so you had this all the while in your mind. That's why I say fair women. Fair the fair ones. Fear the fair ones. Fear fair women. You know, so I mean, I, I was shocked because I, I didn't see that coming. But again, I felt, I mean, it, it's part of it. Like, like Jack Welch said, um, change before you have to. Perspire right? to Maguire. <laughs> 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 change before you have to. And again, change is the only constant thing in life. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going to personally miss you, Sandra. Uh, I'm going to miss hard facts. Um, I was hoping that I would still be tuning in wherever I am. But now, yeah, I you're know. still tuning in. Hard <laughs> facts yeah, remain. I, I, I mean, I will tune in, but of course, it's going to be a different voice. Yeah. I mean, a different personality. Yeah. And again, I'm going to miss uh, working together on I Beg to Differ. Yes. Uh, mm. Lagos, I have to say, without Emmanuel, a lot of what happens with I Beg to Differ probably wouldn't happen. Emmanuel, Emmanuel was one of my generals mm. for I Beg to Differ, and I really want to thank you you know, for standing tall for, for, for that um, event every time it happens. Like, Thank I can much. message Emmanuel at 3 a.m. Emmanuel will be like, oh, don't worry, I got you, I got you, you know. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I was just about asking Sandra that week, what's up? I beg you differ for this year. Are we having another edition? <laughs> and then she says, mm. It's time. I'm like, so what's going to happen? I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Will continue. Yeah, it I will. Continue. It but will again, continue. Again, like we all keep saying, it's going to be a different flavor without you. Definitely. It will be better. We, we, we trust so. It will be better. We it's so. Nigeria info. We, we now we so. now we get them. Now we born them. So yeah. you know get you know get mind to know be better. You, you know? know one of the things I look forward to Sandra's show is when she says first hard fact of the day. <laughs> I'm like okay. <laughs> Throw us the bad news. Throw us the bad news. Throw us the bad news. <laughs> it's not always bad news. Come on. It's often bad news, Andrea. You no. Know that. Sometimes it's really great stuff. Okay. On you Fridays, uh, maybe on Fridays a little <laughs> lighter kind of thing. But I'm, I'm going to miss you. Trust me. I'm going to miss you. Mm. Lagos is going to miss you. Yeah. The station would miss you. And of, uh, of course, we just trust that wherever you're going, um, great things will happen for you. And 
God will go with you and particular concerns you. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you very much. I, I really you so appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you. Ufoma was here before uh, Trumality. So let's go to Ufoma, who cannot wait to tell you when we started working together in 2013 in Port Harcourt. Go on, Ufoma. Ufoma give, was very skinny it. at that time. <laughs> He was, and, oh. and he probably had he hair. was he was skinnier than than uh, yeah, Emmanuel. I saw, I saw his picture. I was like, this skinnier guy. than Emmanuel. Yes, didn't have gray hair. You know, now he has to dye his hair yeah. to pretend. And he has and he has pot belly. He wasn't bald. He wasn't bald. <laughs> he was, wasn't I was. married. He was wearing tie. He wasn't married, yeah. so he was chasing all the girls to put that cause. Hey, Jesus. So, so we heard. So we heard. It was a Jesus. problem. Jesus, you know your story. But God, because you know I, what I want to do, <laughs> you are you are attacking me. <laughs> and, and, he, <laughs> and he used to be anti former back in the day. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. he was anti former. Uh, yeah, uh, he was called anti former yes. quite a bit. Go on, former. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Argue, you know the best part? When they call you anti former and you want to argue it out. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I choose. <laughs> Someone was asking me, one boat guy was asking me, who is that lady on the spot in your station? <laughs> no, he's a guy, not a lady. His name is Ufoma. The way they argue, he said, no, how are you going to tell me saying that man be that? I choose to, to, to be rise seen that's, today. That's his best Barry. Yeah. <laughs> Barry. Yeah. To be very, to be very. People do deep voice. Hey, it's deep voice. I choose <laughs> to be seen today. We all know that's not your real voice. Come Ufoma, on. we know how we roll talk. Come on. <laughs> Oh, this no. this show is supposed to be about sound. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, go. Sorry, let's sorry. Go. Go on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I, to be honest, I did not plan to come here at all. I'm not great at saying goodbyes. Yeah. Um, I actually and came. No, come and cry, Sandra's cry. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I not your day. Cry. <laughs> I came here to tell the whole world mm. how the short fine girl <laughs> actually joined the station. Mm. Somehow, I managed to keep <laughs> off my butt but um seriously speaking though um I, I think for me the greatest the greatest or the best thing about sandra is how um she takes everything she does as her own how she owns um um what she does you know that it's one it's one thing to do a job because you're asked to do it or because you're paid to do it it's also another thing to um, take possession of that particular own job, it. you know, just own it. And I think that that's what has set um, a lot of her shows and a lot of things she does. Um, that's what I set it apart from, you know, um, the rest of um, the people. I beg to defy is, is, is one thing. Um, she owned it, even though it's a station's project, but she owned it. And, of course, we all know how that has turned out. You just need to take a listen to, of course, um, um, what she brings to the show. So from the slimmer, short, fine girl that came to do audition in 2013 in Port Harcourt, to the well-fed, let's just say well-fed. <laughs> <laughs> let's leave that well-fed. <laughs> to the well-fed, <laughs> fine woman <laughs> that is living Nigeria in full <laughs> 10 years after. Yeah. Um, I remember myself and one of my uh, former colleagues, Daniel Braid, like, Danny, you, you see that fine girl? Hmm. Yeah, we're actually discussing that. And, you know... See what um, I said? <laughs> see that woman? <laughs> um, but that being said... Um, Sandra, we, it's not goodbye, obviously. Um, we pray that this is the um, beginning of better things for you. Um, we, I usually say this to almost everybody. We will all leave one day. You didn't say it to me. Um, you, you have left already. <laughs> you know, we would all leave. But the, the truth of the matter is what counts would be what you are able to um, do you know, people will remember you for it. It's 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 almost seven years now. Is it seven? Twenty eighteen. It's it's almost five years now since I left um Port Harcourt. But I think almost on a daily basis I still get um those comments of oh we miss you in Port Harcourt. you know. N that's not because I did better than every other person, but I, I left my little mark. And to a large extent, Sandra has left her mark in Lagos. And I'm sure that for the next one year or two years, people will still be calling and saying, you know, oh, we miss Sandra, we don't miss Sandra. It's just a normal thing, a normal mm -hmm. phenomenon. Um, but again, um, the station has missed quite a number of big personalities before. 
um, the one the one thing we are good at doing is ensuring that we go from There's fifty, continuity. you know, to seventy, from seventy to hundred, right. and definitely we will do that. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much. Opoma Opoma is our head of news, by the way. So every time that news is uh, like one minute late and I get deduction, it's Opoma that signs <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> the Rhyme Master is here. Hello, Rhyme Master. Good to have you here. Hi, Sandra. Good How are you? you? Good evening. He was uh, just in South Africa talking to us on Twitter about wow. um, all the wow. all the blessed women. He was in South Africa talking to us on Twitter. It yeah. rhymed. It Ooh. wasn't Ooh. intended. Not really, but, but, but you know, it's the rhymed. inference. <laughs> He's beside me, so, know. you know. Really. And he was telling us, you know, how... Um, how I'm how he was man. he was married. tempted, but he had to keep his focus. I'm focused. Yes. yes. Mm. Better than exam focus. What we read before we wrote Waiyeki years back, actually. Mm. Uh, but yeah, g- great to be here. First off, uh, it's on Did he say he needs to get married? On radio, on radio at what? least. What? I'm not sure what I heard. <laughs> You're the only one that heard it. I need to get married. <laughs> You're the only well, one that heard um, it. Yes, about time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start by saying, you know, Sandra is a beauty who goes through with her duty okay. using some high sense of acuity oh mm. uh, and that has defined her broadcasting career at least the 10 years or 11 i have known her 10 actually because i know you know i joined the company in uh, november 2012 and sandra came through early 2013 i still remember vividly the first time we had a conversation yeah that's where you mentioned by also and that's why i wouldn't forget that in a hurry yeah. um, but for me i think that the most striking thing about sandra which Still tickles my fancy, even though my name is not Nancy right now. Oh. Um, I'm playing too much. Okay, let me be serious. Mm-hmm. But the most striking thing that tickles my fancy, Femi, uh, Iman Lanko, is that flexibility, that fluidity. Now, I'm sure that for somebody who's listening to this broadcast ra- right now from Port Harcourt for the very first time, that person will be like, uh uh-uh, for what we knew was the lady who will come through for the Good Morning Nigeria show on Cool FM and kill it on a music show, right? So when she moved to Lagos, I had no idea it was Nigeria info. She was coming to initially before I got the information. And then to come to Lagos and two years after, it was just about a year and a half, two years that the conversation started coming through. Who is this girl on Nigeria info Lagos? You know, apparently that was how quickly she was a- able to hit the mark. So when I left Calabar Radio, I knew I was going to Potako Radio, which is a bigger platform. And it took a while. It took like two years for me to get into the groove where you could say Potako, they know these guys, the rhyme guy. When I was coming to Lagos, I mentally prepared that it was going to be two years to work very hard, Chima, so people know there's a human being like you in Lagos because the competition is mad. Mm. And then COVID-19 came through because I came in in 2019. COVID-19 came in in 2020. So that's my one So you one brought year. it in. You know, so, so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so for you to have come to Lagos as very competitive and then made that mark so seamlessly for somebody who was on a music radio station and then you come to a talk radio station in the biggest city in the country when it comes to the media, and then you're making a mark two years after. That was very fast. You, you know, and for me, again, it was an inspiration because you left with Hakko, what, 2018, right? So yeah. you, you left. So by the time I was coming in 2019, I don't hear just, uh, like, okay, if Sandra can do it, then some of us can work hard enough to do it, you know. So well done to you. Thank you. And I wish you the very best in life moving on. The good thing, too, I'm just going to say is I know that you're going to be exposing that later. But the thing about Nigeria Info that I love and the privilege for me working with this brand over the years is the fact that Sometimes you think that quality is living and, oh, we're losing something. Yes, we're going to miss that quality, no doubt. But the quality that always comes in to even replace that quality is always so good that many times you forget. Ufoma can relate with this. When we went to Potakot, I know time is running off. There were certain names that people were always asking for then when I and Ufoma started doing sports on, mm-hmm. on Potakot Radio. Mm-hmm. And then our head of stations then, Tommy B, told us, just keep doing your best. After a while, nobody will ask about those guys those again. People, those guys right. were good. They still are good. Right. But truly, after a while, they didn't ask about those guys again right. because we made our mark. So. Right. Uh, for those who are going to be missing Sandra, you miss Sandra, yes, because she's good. But trust me, the quality that's coming in to, to host this show after Sandra is somebody who's made his mark to our cross board around the country. So quality for quality on Nigeria. And Sandra, thanks for your service. Mm-hmm. And I hope to see you again on a higher pedestal in the future. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Truma. Thank you so much, Ufoma. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. We have another Emmanuel in the studio, mm-hmm. but you'll hear from him when we come back from this break. You'll also hear from Feta. Thank you to John. Thank you to um, Sheriff Cordry. I'm still Sandra Ezekwesti. This is still Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Don't go away.
this night, nothing starts this night quite like on a bowl of indo me. So, spill some love with indo me. Wow, what's that? It's got a tail. But it's a tail. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of fun in it, just like us. <laughs> Let's all be deodorant robots. Watch your essays and mouths. Guide your old hey robot to take to Salt Lizzie. Do you want to talk about how your own animals get in? If yes, then we'll gather it on Small Print USA Ski Down and Care. Let Small Print USA take you where home is always Ski Go. Rain gardens for movie cars and train to Jackson Flow. To the most serene environments on trains to MFN or come to a speedy access by our Capacitor in Wangara and Fort Margaret and Stormer. Your garden, my friend, is where you want to be. Call 0703-286-3153 or 0813-077-3134 or visit smallpointpropertycom Smallpoint USA, your easy way home. The Geek Astronomy Week by Sukla Mary Makmukele has still a twist. Join us, Korea's most beautiful woman, as we shape our return. Welcome. on the solid ground of your trust on our programming. This recognition means so much to us and we are deeply grateful for it. Thank you for making this possible. Thank you for choosing Nigeria Info. Thank you for answering our call. Nigeria Info. Let's talk.
Headline News on 99.3 Nigeria Info. On the news headlines this hour, National Bureau of Statistics says Nigeria's inflation jumped to 24.08% in July. While federal government files 20 charges against Emetiele in Abuja, seeks to withdraw Lagos State. CBN clamps down on speculators and restricts diaspora remittances as Nigeria as to Naira slumps. While federal government dissolves advertising standard panel over all eyes on the judiciary billboards. Defense headquarters dismisses report of plot to topple Tinubu's leadership. Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited denies plans to raise pump price of petrol. Organized labor threatens to go on strike without notice should there be another increase in the pump price of petrol. Federal government urged to integrate persons with disabilities into its labor negotiating committee on fuel subsidy removal, while some negotiations commend Lagos State government for reducing the transportation fares on BRT buses. Governor Sonwulu appoints six new non-cabinet special advisors to serve in various capacities across ministries in the state. Lagos State House of Assembly screens 20 out of 39 cabinet nominees recently sent by Governor Babadide Sonwulu. Nigerian Army investigates the report of soldiers and last attack in Lagos. And on the foreign scene, the UN and ECOWAS criticize Niger's junta's plan to prosecute detained President Mohamed Bazoum. And Taliban mark two years since return to power in Afghanistan. A Russian central bank jacks up rates to 12% to support battered national currency ruble. Those are the headlines, Lagos. It's back to some hard facts with Sandra. Right here on 99.3, Nigeria Info. Sandra? This, by the way, highlight of hard facts for me. Just oh. doing these transitions <laughs> with you, like, it feels very like, oh, CNN. I know, I know, I know, like, I know. Back to you, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ron. Thank you. <laughs> I will truly, truly miss the transitions, honestly. I, I love work working with Vaughn, love listening to her voice, love listening to how she reads the news. Like, Vaughn is amazing. Oh, thank you, Sandra. I've got Emmanuel here, Emmanuel that I call employee of the year, <laughs> because once there's a building collapse in Lagos, Emmanuel is there. Once there's natural disaster, Emmanuel is there. Once there's good news, because not the bad news, but once there's good news, it, no matter what good news have you ever been there to report live? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So it 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 just happens that it it it, it, it bugs me. I don't know. You don't, I don't know. know. But but if it bleeds, it bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just in Lagos, you you have to give us you know good stuff to cover. You know, maybe yeah. like maybe have like you know I don't know somebody give birth to quadruplex or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, so Emmanuel can go and cover that <laughs> too, you know. <laughs> he deserves to not be breathing bad air. You know, the first time, uh, not, not, the f not the first time, one of the things uh, I remember that we were, both of us working, mm -hmm. we were back then, our both of us, because we already yeah. moved to Lagos. Yeah. <coughs> uh, February 24th, yeah, 24th of February 2019. Okay. A day after the presidential election. Okay. Where you had the issue, soldiers and civilians fight. Okay. In our pool. Yeah. And then you called me around past 3 p.m. because I was with part of the group that, yeah. oh, I'm right inside the whole fracas where it's happening. I'm yeah. supposed to shut down that project. Yeah. And, uh, I'm the only journalist here. Yeah. And the next thing, someone calls my phone. I'm looking around. I'm like, hi. I was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling you right now. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's why I don't talk like that. Oh, no, 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 I told you, oh, there were people sitting down and they had their hands really um, up, you know, because the soldiers had told them to sit on the floor and everything. And I was thinking the situation of all the place. I'll tell you, oh, helicopters passing. There's so much gunboats all around. And this place is choking with uh, um, the soldiers and all the rest. And I was trying to tell you the whole thing. And you said something. You said, can I speak with some of the people on the ground? I was like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this guy? No, is it not just to let No. <laughs> I am telling you oh that I'm inside the volcano. You are saying if I can jump inside. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I, I that, that's one thing I always. I remember. don't even remember that. Of course, <laughs> so of course you will remember it because I was the one in trouble that day. Well done. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, I, you know, anytime I cover any of these, you know, um, stories, mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately, you know, also pleasant stories. But yeah, anytime I cover these stories, you are always there to like grill to know everything. So I, it always pushed me, t- pushed me to know know the nitty gritty of everything, so that I can speak at length because I know your questions are going to come. <laughs> I know you're going to ask, have you spoken to this person? I'm sorry. And who betides <laughs> me if I've not spoken to the person? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's good. You know, because uh, it makes me to be more detailed in reporting okay. and it makes me as versatile as I've become, mm-hmm. you know, and that's something I can always say goes with working in a team, mm-hmm. you know, Mm-hmm. Teamwork, I think, for over the years has been excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't work so much like that in Port Harcourt, mm-hmm. but then coming to Lagos, and, you know, and we've had they, to work together, you know, lot, we had to yeah. work together, and you know, it's really indeed, it's really indeed great. Yeah, really Emmanuel, great. I mean, I will miss you to be honest with you because uh, uh. you, 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 there's something you do with your reporting that is really brilliant, and I cannot wait to see where you go with that. Um, sorry to the GM. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to bring it back to the GM and then we'll bring it to Lagos because I'm sure Lagos is itching to join the conversation. Feta is here, mm. just hiding in the corner. Um, <laughs> but uh, back to you, uh, Femi Obong Daniels. Thank you, Sandy Jagger. Oh, God. It's only Sheriff who would, who would relate. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, <laughs> tell us tell us the story. <laughs> to stop calling her Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to control myself like she's no more jagger <laughs> she's no more jagger you know one day <laughs> Sa- i was going to call her i, said, I was like I mean, Sandra has warned me before. He said, <laughs> if you call me Sandy, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so I, I then had to go and get, gather le- uh, liver from... <laughs> from Sheriff. From Sheriff. <laughs> like, uh, my friends are Sandra. I call them Sandy. She, she, she said she would kill me. <laughs> I just add Jagger to it. <laughs> 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 I where did that come from uh, actually um funny enough it was it, w- it wasn't social media yeah. mm-hmm. so when i was in university a friend of mine mm-hmm. um i think i was disturbing his life or something mm-hmm. you know i was like sandra why do you do jaga jaga like this <laughs> what did they do you sandy jaga <laughs> <laughs> and it just stuck you know everyone said yeah, it's true it actually fits sandy jaga and everybody said I call him Sandy Jagger. And it was so part of your uh, Twitter handle initially. Yeah. It was, it, you know, <laughs> I, in the beginning. Because, like, the thing about nicknames, if you fight it, yeah, you know. Yeah, it sticks. So, it sticks so just, just go with it. Go yeah. with the flow. And I, and I did. And it served its purpose for a while. And then it was time to get serious. So I shed that skin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, um, when Sandra came to Lagos, it was at it, it, Nigeria Info was undergoing a transition phase. Um, at, at, at some point earlier on, um i w- i would i don't because you know i'm a part of the system i wouldn't say we we were uh, the plot had twisted a little bit and we needed to on cuddle uh, and on knot it and sandra came at, at that time and and i remember I, I remember sandra's recommendations which you know email that she wrote and things we could do to to um get back to um to get Nigeria info back, uh, and um, I don't know whether you remember some I of remember, these email, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of list of s- some things, things we could I do, need, yeah. things you you needed, and then other things that we could do with with the show, mm-hmm. uh, and um, th- th- there was a time when the Nigeria info metamorphosis had was such that um, it w- we felt like we were losing our identity, which was being the conversational platform. There was even a time that, you know, at management level, we used to say that um, sometimes Nigeria Info was sounding like a cool FM wannabe. Uh, we needed to get back to the conversation. And uh, there was a time when most of what was happening, um, um, special thanks to our colleagues who had worked, amazing colleagues who had worked here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Tolu was great, as was Fola, Adenike, um, th- um, Nelly. Nelly. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Um, those, those were, those were people who were irreplaceable. Uh, um, Benga Borowa and uh, Uluwashi Umpi. I can't, I can't list all, all these individuals. Zoe. Zoe. Uh, Yo, and Frank Pam. Yo, Yo, come on, and Christy <laughs> Makut. The guys, the guys who went on air together the first time. Yeah. Of course, Femi and the gang. Um, 
But then we, we had reached a point where we needed to do some soul searching and, and we needed to play the chess game differently. And, and at that point um, where we used to do all this administrative, I remember m myself and the CEO of the organization, Serge, and our good friend and brother who, who, who was a major part of that reworking, uh, Rotimi Sankori, we used to sit down and ask ourselves, what could we do differently, differently? But when Sandra came from Port Harcourt, and I, I would tell, I would talk, talk about that story, uh, and it's credit to Serge, the CEO of this organization. He called me one day and said, Sandra is going to leave. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> so it, 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 that was where the conversation started, because Sandra was our star morning show host on Cool FM in Port Harcourt. And it had gotten to that point where, and it always happens, where a city can no longer contain you. The same way as this whole country can't contain its, uh, its unofficial president anymore. Um, but uh, therein, a decision had to be made. And I remember what we're saying. Look, um, she's got to leave. She's got to leave um, Port Harcourt. She's got to leave Port Harcourt. But it was said you told me that Sandra's brand has evolved. Hmm. Now, now, People hear Sandra talk in Lagos. They don't know she's a DJ or she's got a DJ mentality. And this is what I mean by being a DJ. The DJ respects the music and never wastes the music, even if it's instrumental. There is a way Sandra jumps on this signature tune. Play this ch signature tune again and do, and do what you do, which is a dif different thing. Now, I will... I would, some people waste the instrumental. They play, pa -da 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 -da, and then it goes down, 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 down. That would and then, nuts. And then <laughs> they're, they're trying to sort themselves, get into the flow, not Sandra. Da -da 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 -da. Hi, Lagos! <laughs> Every time, 10 times out of 10, that is the DJ mentality, and, and it's beautiful. A another example, Sandra, you'd, you'd mentioned, um, you know, um, some very kind things about me and the news when we when you produced me on the news but the part that I must say that I never got to say on radio is that it's different when you are the one producing me on the news <laughs> it's actually different <laughs> okay. because of that DJ mentality the inserts are going to come pop 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 the bed will come pop 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 you, the mic you know you're not going to you know you, you never switch on the wrong mic you never you, so it's Again, that's what I mean when I say you have a DJ mentality, uh, which is brilliant. Now, you would wonder, why would somebody on talk radio be that adept? Then you remember <laughs> that she was on Cool FM. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you, had, you, you, had, you had been on Ray Power before. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, had been, you had been a music show host mm -hmm. and all of that. So it's, it's, it's a big thing. Um, um, back to what you've done over time in... in helping us here it was a, a bit of a renaissance you know when we needed to create an identity and and those suggestions those recommendations that you put on paper and how how much of those we applied in getting back our foot our footing and also um, getting certain other in, in individuals I, 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 I just feel grateful I feel thankful for having worked on this journey with you like the rest of us, nobody is perfect. And, but you see, you are as near to perfection as they come. And this is not me washing you, uh, you understand. This is me saying, uh, who would I want to listen to on radio? What would they sound like? How would they talk? How would they enunciate? How would they articulate? And, and what would be the general flow of the presentation? And all of that, I just go check 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 um outstanding 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 so it's been a it's, it's been a pleasure the kind pleasure that that uh, uh, got me all enthralled um when i um, when i picked you on that al jazeera interview when i listened to you on cool fm in port harcourt and and the first time you opened your mic to say um hello lagos or whatever it was you said that first day it's it's been one heck of a ride, yeah. and and I and and now that I know that circumstances um, demand that you you move to other climes, 
I, I can only say thank you. Thank you for, for everything, um, for what you have done um, for this station, uh, um, for everything, the ratings. There's something the CEO and I always agree on. For us, it's not about ratings. We just want to be brilliant and excellent. And you were a critical early part of that leg. Um, um, eventually, we were able to also snatch Sheriff. And, 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 and that was when we, we started to see that, okay, the pieces are on the table. It's now how the team play. What is the formation? How do we, how do we play it? And we've played brilliantly. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and it, it has been successful. Um, there have been those days when you would have um, probably wondered or felt down, felt low, and wondered whether it was all worth it. Because it's it's normal. It's quite normal. If you don't if you don't get disappointments, uh, you know, at work, maybe with colleagues or superiors, you will get sometimes with um, um, some audiences, misunderstanding audiences. You will you will get issues on social media. It's all part of the <laughs> the game. But they don't come any thicker skinned than Sandra Isaac Wesley. And you've you've held your own. You've been able to look at people in the face. You've asked the questions that are uncomfortable to ask. You've spoken truth to power. You've asked the questions that the powerful do not want to answer. And that's how you know a brilliant journalist and broadcaster. And I, I know I, I, radio will miss you. Will you miss radio? I'm sure you will. Because there's, there's, this, there's this thing they say. There is a spirit in this thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where you go. Yeah you would always miss radio. Yeah. And radio, Nigerian radio will miss you. Nigeria Info will miss you. And whether it is European Info <laughs> or North American Info <laughs> or whatever else you find yourself, <laughs> let, let, let the Info flame fly, yeah. as, as, as I'm sure it would. Yeah. A and um, we, we had these conversations. Uh, you know, interestingly, somebody brought it up about uh, the Abek to Differ thing. Mm -hmm. we, we had that conversation as in my well, office yeah. yesterday mm -hmm. uh, and, and how we could take this flag you've flown so brilliantly and so dignifiedly. How do we take it and run with it and, and fly it and, and, and let it fly f proud in the air? Um, I, 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 I'll promise you We'll do. Uh, we'll give it our shot not to let you down, and um, uh, this will always be your home. This will always be your home, most yeah. certainly. Um, I, I know I will we'll hear from you from time to time. Yes. There's this thing we do. <laughs> we won't even warn you. You will just be in whatever place you think you are. We'll just call you one day. Sandra, you are alive. <laughs> <laughs> and. You're oh. live on the show. I'm like, what? I will, I will die first before we don't do it. <laughs> we'll do it to you. <laughs> and you must respond. I will. You like fall our hands. I will. You, you never fall hands. I so. will. I will. It's been great. Thank you, Sandra. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you so much. You've said the, 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 the kindest things. Um, I'm going to... Um, Okay, um, so I'm gonna I, I'm 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 going to remember today for a long, long time. I want to thank um, my general manager Femi Bong Daniels for for honoring me in the way that he has this evening. My program manager Sheriff Quadri for honoring me in the way that he has this evening. Um, the CEO of Cool Azobia Info Cloud Africa um, for honoring me in the way that um, he has um, ever since he said to me make the move to Lagos, come to Nigeria Info, I think you can do it. Um, okay, I think I'm going to stop there so that I don't start crying <laughs> because it's it's really difficult. I'm, I'm fighting tears at the moment. So um, uh, let's pivot now to Lagos. Lagos is calling. Lagos has been calling since 4 o'clock. Lagos will riot very soon if we don't talk to Lagos. But I want to thank my bosses so much. Thank you for this. I will watch the video P please can tell me that we streamed this so that on the days that it's really dark i can go back S streaming and crying oh <laughs> ken and i have to do a show together ken when you're free coming here let's talk as well ah huh? okay all right <laughs> femi thank you sheriff thank you i appreciate it lagos call me on 0700 993 993 
0146571190 WhatsApp is 080-959-75805 um, because I know that there are lots of people who would like to call in, I will beg, I beg, keep it to one minute, all right? Let's try. You, you, you still have me tomorrow, you have me Thursday, my final show is Friday, so, um, woo! Okay, so let's do just one minute, let's do one minute, you know, we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk for one minute and then we'll move on to the next person so that we can accommodate as many people as possible please i know that you have a lot to say but you can always reach out to me on social media to say it but for right now one minute and then we'll move on to the next caller please 99.3 hello sorry about that call me back if you can uh 99.3 hello okay <laughs> 99.3 hello hello good evening good evening what's your name sir my name is Victor from VI. Victor from VI, welcome. Well, um, it's indeed um, a heavy thing to take, but the truth is that um, you have to move forward. Yeah. Um, so, uh, me especially, I want to thank you because you changed um, hard facts. Um, you, uh, all other presenters have come, they did their piece, but you came and gave it a different piece. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, my wife always talk about you. The way you have impacted positively on her. And other negotiations, especially the program, I beg to differ. You brought it from a joking program <laughs> to a serious program where good children and adults learn to do a lot of things. Sandra, I thank you so much. God will continue to bless you. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, and have a successful journey anywhere you're going to. Thank you will surely progress to the higher. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. I really appreciate it. Victor from Victoria Island, 99.3. Hello. Hello, Sandra. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex, Hello. my tech babe, Alex. Come on. This is, this is. This is not good news I, for us. I'm sure I'm glad that this brought you out because everybody has been asking me where you are. <laughs> like, say I kidnap you. <laughs> oh, damn, damn. But I'm happy for you. You know, I'm sure you're looking out onto greater things. I've never been one to, you know, stick by the radio so much and call radio stations, but you actually brought me out. That is literally speaking. Oh. You know, you literally pulled me out to start speaking on radio and, you know, so so much inspiration and everything. I don't know where we'll find you, you know, but for whatever it's worth, I, I, I hope we'll be able to hear your voice, you know, more and more. It's, it, you know, I heard this just, I was like, no, I was like, no, I'm not hearing right. But it's okay, it's okay, Sandra, you've just been wonderful. Thank you. Alex. I don't really listen to the, you, you, well, maybe your bells and then the morning bells. After yeah. that, I just switch off. I'm uh, no more on radio. And Alex, I, ha I have to say, Alex, like, it was such a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> it was such a pleasure having conversations with you because you are such a brilliant woman and you had <laughs> you had the most insightful things to say about <laughs> different subjects so yes, every yes. time you called i'm like oh my god alex is here finally you know um <laughs> so i just want to say that i thank you for choosing to call me thank yes. you for choosing to burn your airtime on well, me um, you know time. and like i do hope that we actually meet someday honestly because yes, you're, you're brilliant yes. I wish you all the best, Sandra. God bless you. Bless you, Alex. Thank you so much for calling. 99.3, hello. Hello, Sandra. Hi, how are you? Hello. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll take a break. When we come back from this break, um, I'll take more calls. I, I was planning to do step down at 6.15, but... Um, I think we'll just keep taking calls until 7 when, when the show ends um, today. So... <sighs> It will also give me time to gather myself because, you know, I'm a, I'm a thug. Thug, no, they cry, you know, and all, all, all the things that I've heard today. Yeah, so we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Lagos, don't go away. You get me brand new car. Kilo Shele, go, go. I, I'm not giving you consent to get into my property. I don't need consent because as far as I'm concerned, as an enforcement officer, I have certified you to be a traffic offender. Yeah, but one thing.
station for talk. 95.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Ain't no sunshine when the sea's gone. Hey you, it's your deal spread and I see you have got new fantastic information on market and it's extremely willing to drop for you. You know that the current fuel price at Oscar Gas Station is not a joke. If you get to work every day, you may spend half your salary on fuel. And if you use public transport to go to work, you may not have the salary to hide the end of the month. And when you add long distance fast fuel, some people will even miss the end of the month.
at that kid with the yellow line and that one hair and that one hair. <laughs> so we try to go in depth and we try to go and give our kids a little something they can take away from us. And so we have a couple of different things that we have in our classroom right now. We have our Bible and we have our journal. So we try to get three people to read with us and we try to get them to read with us. Good evening, sir. What's your name? And uh, I cannot just hold my emotions. I'm so down. I'm not, this is the first time I'm calling from Ikorodu. Hmm. First time. I, but I listen to the effort 24 7. 24 oh. 7. Oh. Can't hold down my emotions. I wish you all the best, Thank all you. the good things in life. Thank you. But I will still call tomorrow. I will still try tomorrow and Friday by the grace of God. Okay. Thank you. My regards to your family. Thank I'm you. sincere regards to your family. Thank you. Thank um, you so we much. are going to miss you. I'm going to miss you in particular. This is Sunday. Finish my week. The first time I've been listening from the time of uh, Adele, uh, uh, Kelly and all that. This mm. is the first time I'm calling. Mm. I'm so down. I'm, I'm so going to be with you. Thank I'm going you. to guide you all your full steps. Thank Let you. Me you the thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Sunday, for calling. I appreciate it. And thank you for making it one minute. I appreciate that as well. 99.3. Hello. Sandra, you think one minute is enough for us to cry? <laughs> I, I don't want you to cry. That's the reason I'll give you one minute. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I express how I feel to you, Sandra? Yes, please. And, and it's funny, right? Mm. I feel as if, you know, when you, when you get, when your, when your boyfriend breaks up with you, you know how you feel? Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. I know. That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. You just broke my heart, Sandra. I'm sorry. I think I'll tell you something else, you know. Ever since we lost uh, the cool lesson to Dr. Charles B, mm. I have never been an addict to a show. But you brought me out of my shell, Sandra. And not just me, even my kids. Oh. They listen to your bed to differ. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Sandra, it's quite painful, but it's, well, we have to be. Change is constant, but the change management now has. <laughs> no worry. Change management is very flawless. No worry. No worry. Ah, no worry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So soon. Sorry. Just, came, just when I got used to the radio, just when I got in. See. Can I tell you something, Sandra? What? I actually lived 30 minutes away from my house. Okay. And from, I walked 30 minutes away from my house, mm. but I kind of like noticed that I wait to get into traffic. So <laughs> I can listen while I'm riding. I'm serious. It's beautiful. I joined the traffic intentionally so I can giggle and laugh and contribute. I have never contributed, you know, this much. And I really appreciate you know that DJ mentality you're talking about, mm. you actually make sense for the process. And yeah. that's true. Yeah. And it comes naturally to you to start your game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for calling. I've got Femi joining us from the US. Femi, how are you? Welcome. Madam Sandra. Sir. <laughs> well, this is this is shocking, though. As a as a matter of fact, when you said this yesterday that you had a big news, this uh, kind of news came to my mind because I know broadcasters. The moment they tell you there's a big news, <laughs> I, hope, I hope this person is not leaving that station. Right. And as a matter of fact, it was your program that made me started listening to Nigeria Info oh. because I had no connection with any news in Nigeria except from Instagram. But the moment I stuck on your program, man, I never stopped listening to your program. And uh, with this, I just wish you all the best in life because, uh, and with the speech of a cafe, I hope you're not jackpotting to a foreign broadcasting, broadcasting company. You know, that's what I'm thinking right now. But I just wish you all the best in life. Um, it was, it was, man, we really learned a lot from you. Mm-hmm. I cannot just say more than that. Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank, thank you, you so much. thank you, thank you, Femi. I really appreciate you calling, and I really appreciate you spending the time. Like, like that's the thing I appreciate about Nigeria Info the most. You. You know, you, you call me every day on every topic. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, just Femi now. I'm talking about you as well. You know, you follow me bumper to bumper. You're calling me about the different things I put before you. If you don't call me, I can't have a show. And so I'm so grateful that you thought me deserving of your opinion. Even when we disagree, you thought, no, Sandra deserves to hear my opinion on this subject. And so you call me and you keep trying and trying because I know I've tried to call Nigeria Info. I know how hard it is to get in. And you try and you try and you try and you get in. 
And you have to tell me what you think about this thing I've told you about. And I appreciate it so much. <sighs> and I will miss that. I will miss that. Let's come back to Lagos. 0700 993 993 993 0145 7190. <laughs> 99.3. Hello. Auntie Sandra, good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? You know, you're calling from Lake Welcome. In fact, I just wish you all the best. Thank you. There's nothing else I can say. Thank you, ma. You know, just mm. know that God will be with you wherever you are. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. I appreciate it. 99.3, hello. hello. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my, my, I'm the first time caller. My name is Richina, sir. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Talk to me. Yeah. Um. Actually, when I had the news, uh, when I had you say, it was a big news. I was, I was surprised because... We we all learned a lot from you, Miss Sandra. We all we all learned what if not for you, we wouldn't have been knowing things about what's happening in Nigeria and um, all of that. So I just want to say that um, um, go and be successful and and make us Lagos proud. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, let me go to WhatsApp. I think WhatsApp, maybe I won't, I won't, I won't be fighting tears so much. <laughs> All right, let me go to WhatsApp. I've got Anonymous who says, this is one of your greatest admirers. I want to salute your brilliance and dedication to your craft by donating uh, 100K as giveaway to 10 listeners, phone callers and WhatsApp contributors on your last day on air. Oh, wow. So this listener wants to give 100K to listeners on my last day. Oh, my God. Uh, Anonymous says, thank you so much, Sandra, for raising the bar on Nigerian radio. Like Dan Foster, you are a radio superstar. Please send me your account details ASAP, Anonymous. Um, thank you, honestly. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to send this so that on Friday, we will be able to give away 100K. I'm going to see as I don't bring Glocko to like 10 people like this. Hey, hey, follow who no, no, no. <laughs> 99.3 hello <laughs> hello hello good evening good evening how you doing i'm fine nika is coming from ecology welcome talk to me oh why now why are you going <laughs> oh we are going to miss you i, know, I will be I had this call but nigeria info is my best radio station i always listen to your program uncle jimmy and sherry in fact, we are going to miss. What is going to happen to our deck to defy? Oh, to continue. You are, very, you are a very patient person. Always there. You are always patient with the callers. Ah, you are a nice person. Everywhere you go to, the Lord will be with you. Ah, mm -hmm. we are going to miss you yeah. very much. Oh. Ah, my little daughter is missing you already. Because oh. that period of our deck to defy, ah, she really, she really enjoying it. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm going to miss you. Oh, anywhere you go to the Lord, we go. We see the Lord, we be with you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, wow. I could hear the daughter in the background speak. I've got Victoria um, in the studio. Victoria, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm not fine. <laughs> I'm not fine Victoria, my ad hoc staff. <laughs> my ad hoc eye neck. <laughs> 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 Victoria, Kilo Shelle. <sighs> my favorite president is leaving. She's I, leaving. I'm your only president. My only president. My <laughs> only Ebu loyal president is leaving. I'm so, I'm so, 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 so happy to have even worked with you. You are such an amazing person. You are patient. You are a teacher. There's somebody that everybody will want to sit down with and just have, even if it's a two-minute conversation. There's nothing you've said. Everything you have said to me, everything that you have taught to me, I would never, ever trade it for anything. I'm so happy that this few months I got to, you know, meet 
and stay with an amazing person like you like i don't know i don't know how to ex- she's like a mother that loves her even if she doesn't know you sandra is a very loving person she she knows how to accommodate people she's patient she would push you to do things that you won't even see yourself doing like you you, you made me try new things you made me sit up you made me be very fast she's almost as she's almost perfect and i just pray that everything that you do god will be with you you will succeed you would go higher and higher and you will continue to carry favor i'm going to miss you so much and i love you president sandra <laughs> always <laughs> always <laughs> victoria please don't start crying thank you we, we've cried enough honestly okay where's ken ken my chief of staff like my show wouldn't happen without my chief of staff uh, i don't like without uh ken like a lot of the sounds that you hear on the show, a lot of the videos that you watch uh, when, when I'm streaming the show, you won't be able to do it. And I have Ken to thank for that. Ken um, is in the digital team. He's the digital producer for Hard Facts. And he does such a brilliant, brilliant job. And I Ken Bodder. Where do I start? It don't start anywhere. Just say, you know, I, I loved working with you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, first <laughs> of um a big thank you to you, Madam Sandra. Um I'm not thanking you because you are leaving, I'm thanking you because you're not leaving me empty. You're leaving me with a lot of things. Um unconsciously I've picked up a lot of things from you. Your work ethic, um, how you push me last minute, can let's get this done. I'm like it's just five minutes to the show. Like we can do it, <laughs> and Sorry. I'll do it. And she's like, "Yeah, Ken, nice, thanks." <laughs> and <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> so, um, I mean, for your sake, I can stay here. I can be here all night, making sure that hard work works. Um, I mean, I remember there was a, a, I don't know if you remember, New Year's Eve. Mm. We were here. Okay, we were t- I was in the office. Mm. I was editing your new, uh, what do you call it, um, promo for the next year. Mm-hmm. And my dad called me and he was like, where are you? I said, I'm in the office. He said, on the New Year's Eve? I said, no, I'm working for my boss. He said, who is your boss? I said, Sandra. I said, is this Sandra from Cool FM Protocol? He said, yes. He said, oh my <laughs> Oh, your dad was my fan of Cool FM. So, um, okay. Thank you so much, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I've picked up a lot of skills that I never thought I could pick up. Um, you pushed me to learn product design. And I'm glad I can beat my chest that I've added that skill to myself any day, any time. You've pushed me to understand how to write scripts unconsciously. Um, I mean, sometimes your in, your interns come and they're like, Ken, I'm scared of talking to Sandra. I'm like, Sandra is a nice person. If you don't understand anything, ask her. Don't act like you know how to do it. Just ask and she will teach you. And I mean, one of the most memorable days was um, the very first day I tried to man the console here, my hands were shaking. <laughs> and then you whispered to me and you said, because the mistakes are not things happen, make mistakes, keep learning from it. Keep making the mistakes and you keep learning from it. And that is like a mantra for me anywhere I go. I'm not scared of trying new things because I always hear that voice, make the mistake. Don't be scared of making the mistake. Make the mistake, learn from it, and keep going. And I'm so grateful for everything you've done for me. Um, the way you look out for me, I I like. I I don't I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Honestly, you've said a lot, and and I thank you for saying I it, Ken. I don't know what to say. Uh, you you've said a lot, and I thank you for saying it. Honestly, um, and I, I will say that again. This show depended on you and you came through for this show in so many ways like in numerous ways let me apologize for all the last minute videos <laughs> last minute video last minute audio you know you know how it is you know it's news it, it's fast but to your credit you you like it doesn't matter how i throw the ball you catched it you caught it i say catched hell 
<laughs> you caught it. It doesn't matter from which angle I will twist to throw the ball. You were right there catching it. You never let the ball drop. And I'm so grateful that I experienced that because now I'm going to expect that from anybody else I work with. Like, look, I had a Ken. You have to be my Ken. <laughs> we'll take a break. When we come back from this break, we'll bring you news at six, Lagos. Hey Lagos, you know what they say about making hay while the sun shines, right? Anyway, I'm here to inform you in case you were not aware that the sun is already setting and there is no hay inside. Because if you still don't know what I'm talking about by now, ah, then a lot is going on there, a lot is really happening with you. Because I just heard the gist that you have not taken advantage of the bonanza from oneplay.ng. Why now? Why? Uh uh, you need to do better, dear. Because everyone knows that OnePlay has been giving away sweet cash. <laughs> and this time around on Nigeria Info, a total of 90,000 Naira can be won every single day. You already know what the drill is. Dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash and pay with just 200 Naira because 200 Naira gives you more options to win more right now. So you can play to win on any of these shows. On What's Up Lagos, it's 11.15 to 11.25 a.m. On Game On, it's 8.15 to 8.25 p.m. And on Chat Station with Ada, it's 10.15 to 10.25 p.m. every weekday. So I'm just going to break down what the prompt looks like for you. So after you dial start 347, start 880, start 3 hash, specify your number of entries. Remember that I said that you can play as many times as you want to. Choose your bank, choose one to continue, and then you receive an sms with instructions to make payments and once you've done that you can relax and chill and listen to the live draw on what's up lagos from 11 15 a.m to 11 25 on game on from 8 15 to 8 25 p.m and on chat station with ada by 10 15 p.m to 10 25 p.m every single day day remember that if the system picks your number you've won the cash price of the day so start dialing now and make sure you follow the prompt remember that you can play as many times as you like but don't forget that terms and conditions
Enough for Muse at six. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm gonna say that a lot before Friday. <laughs> I, I'm gonna milk it a lot. You know, I was going to say it's back to hard facts with Sandra. Ho Thankfully, it's not the last time today, <laughs> so don't worry till Friday. Especially because she doesn't do Fridays anymore. Mm, so exactly. I'm gonna, I will, I will milk it. I will milk it until, until, until Thursday. <laughs> oh, good grief, Sandra! How is it? Oh my god! Oh god! I know. How do I come in and say now it's back to hard facts? With whom? With with the, with the person coming oh. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Sandra, as I said earlier, I'm so grateful. You know, we our paths crossed. I have to say, I'm so grateful our paths crossed because, woo, I have learned a lot from just from osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> from By you, osmosis. honestly, <laughs> and I and I and, and I believe it. It tells in the way I handle the Sunday morning show, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. because I've heard people. I read a lot of messages. Some people call me and say, "Hello, Sandra," <laughs> and I have to correct them on the air and say, "It's not Sandra, it's Yvonne." And even though I'm not trying, I've never tried consciously to copy your style. Right. For some reason, it just sort of you know shows that Sandra is an influence. Aww. You're a force. Aww. You know, Aww. so okay, it's okay. <laughs> so be thank going. you. Go, go. Oh my God! Like I have Lagos. I've cried so much today. Oh. Hey God! You don't even know. Every time there's break, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come back to talk to you. Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero one four six five seven one nine zero. We're still doing one one minute to one minute because there are so many people trying to call in, and I want to accommodate as many of them as possible. Please. One one minute and, and i also read messages from social media as well because there are plenty good evening sir how are you good evening sandra how are you what's your name sir this is raymond calling from first Lord. sandra this news is, so, is a big shock i know i just i'm trying to use my one minute very well like i i left work three o'clock oh. i go into the cafe listening i'm like is sandra living in nigeria i didn't understand and I, I almost started crying in the car, but my nephew was sitting beside me, so I couldn't. I couldn't so you had to maintain. Something. You had to maintain. Sandra, as I'm talking to you right now, like I feel like crying. Like I go home, I'm inside the car. Like I don't want to see my wife. Oh. You know, like Sandra, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Like you made us understand so many things about Nigeria. Like I'm sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep calm. Just thank you. Thank you for everything. Honestly, once it gets into 3 o'clock, I leave work. I just get into my car so I can listen because I know I'm, I'm going to get, like, so much information about the country we're living in and the way you just broke everything down. Your, your, your GM said something about you being, like, a DJ. He was totally accurate because I always say when I'm listening to my wife, I'm like, like, Sandra understands, like, she knows the job. Like, she knows the job. Like, Sandra, thank you so much. Thank Whatever you. you do next, you shall prosper. Amen. You do well. I hope maybe we have the opportunity to hear you some way, somehow. Maybe a podcast. Mm. I don't know what it is. We'll see. Whatever you do, <laughs> you you succeed. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, and I appreciate you. Thank you, yeah. Raymond. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for rating. Thank you for recommending. <laughs> And um, thank you for keeping it together for your nephew. 99.3, hello. Hello, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. This is Alcine. What is the problem? What is happening? Ah, what is happening where? <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> I'm moving on. I just got into now. I just put on my radio now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving Nigeria Info. Friday is my last show. To where? Oh, my God. <sighs> to where? Altine. To where? Where are you going? Don't 
do this? I owe you be in Nigeria. God. Oh my God. It's okay, Altine. Are you going to be in Nigeria? It's okay. It's okay, Altine. Kai, Kai, Sandra. Hapa, Sandra. Nazaki. Aki, Mamu. Oh, Jesus Christ. Altine. Please. Why drop this bombshell like this? I'm I sorry. I've been away. I've, I've been out of Lagos for the past one week. I just came in, put on my wig, only to be hearing this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Um, to be honest, like I, I struggled. <laughs> I struggled um about you know announcing it you know i struggled because what's the best way to even say it you know what's the like it doesn't matter when i say it it will, it will still hit the way it's hit you know <sighs> oh okay uh <laughs> 99.3 hello hello good evening good evening what's your name sir this is it calling from Bejizoki. Welcome. Talk to me. I just want to appreciate the fact I'm short of words. Because right now we are really missing you and Sandra. Should I say your word just come to pass? Because I, I, I'm i really following you on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you type, you feel like Jaffa. And I was, and this Sandra stopped deceiving on Jari. <laughs> Seriously. It was when I came back from work and I just put on my video, I said, I was just listening to the video, like, is this a dream or what? Really, we are really missing you. May God continue to be with you. Mm-hmm. Really done with. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, honestly. 99.3. Hi, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? I'm Onyebuchi. Welcome, Onyebuchi. Uh- I wish you nothing but the best. Thank nothing, you. nothing but the best. Sincerely, my very first radio call, like calling to a radio show, was your show. Okay. <laughs> Thank Sincerely, you. That was the first time, and I called several. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. I know you're going places. I pray that the Lord will lead your steps, every step you take. Thank you. God will direct it. Amen. I wish you the best, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. 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 <laughs> Nigeria will be okay again. Please, I beg, reverse your decision, your decision with immediate alacrity. That's Timothy from Ikorodu. Uh Dare from uh, Michigan, I think, or Maryland, um, says, um, Sandra, I don't know what to say. I've been crying and still crying in the office since that announcement. I don't know how to take this. You've no idea how much you're a part of my life. It always feels like you work here with me because you made me buy this special headphone. Sandra, I still don't know how to take this. I hope I get through this before the final day on Friday. Tare, it breaks my heart more than it breaks yours, I promise. Polly Demudia from Surulere says, Sandra, listening to you every 3 p.m. on Hard Facts was terrific for me. In life, we meet to part and we part to meet. I wish you well in your next challenge. In less than a week, I have had to say farewell to two fantastic grade A personalities on the radio. I will miss you both. So Ada from The Overnight has just walked into the studio. Ada, I, I call Ada a vampire because we never see her in the day. We only, only see her in the night time. <laughs> Hi, Ada. How are you? Okay. Bye, Ada. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you angry? I know. I will miss you. I will miss you. I know. But it's for the best. It's for the best. <laughs> I hope you're not going to change your number, though. <laughs> nope. My number's going to be the same. I, I'm I'm always going to be accessible on that number. Well, via WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah via WhatsApp. <laughs> so how are you, Lagos? 
<laughs> What's good? Good to good to hear your voice during the daytime. Ew. I know. I kind of miss it though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you about Sandra. Oh God. Uh, before I came to Lagos, I was a fan on Twitter. Oh. Yeah. I didn't tell you that I've never told you this. I'm very different so. on Twitter than I am on air. True. <laughs> so true. So I used to admire this woman in my head. I was mm. like, oh, I really like this woman. She she commands so much authority. And um, someday I'll meet her. That was all I said. Oh. Clueless of the fact that I was going that to work That you're going to work here. here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it went on. I think I followed you. And um, yeah, I kept on seeing your tweet. I was liking some. Not as really. a Twitter person. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that went on for a while. And then when I came here... And I was like, okay, someone told me, that Sandra is a good girl. I was like, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so I said hi to you, and you reciprocated. Like, you didn't form. Because I was expecting some sort of attitude. Sort of. As per se, Yeah, body, but I know? didn't get that. And I was like, <laughs> okay, strange. <laughs> and um, I think at some point, you got to know that I was the new kid. Mm-hmm. So Sandra now asked, new kid on the blog? And I said, yeah. And she asked, you all right? You need any help? I was like, wow, she's so nice. I was like, yeah, I'm good. And mind you, Sandra started sending me stories, uh, started tagging me on the posts, the posts that were quite relatable to what I do, I do on the radio. Sandra's a very nice person. You know? I know that sometimes uh, she she acts tough and hard, and she calls herself a thug, but I am she's tough. not hard. I am hard. Sandra, I'm tough and hard. Uh, oh, Sandra <laughs> off the mic, she's so soft. Like, any little thing I did, Sandra will shed it here. That's yeah. a lie. Ah, she's lying. Hey, it's a lie. <laughs> See all these. I've been listening this, to this, I was at home and listening to the show. These are my <laughs> Detractors, this is a campaign of calumny. <laughs> <laughs> she acts like she's fine. There's so much laughter. Don't mind. see, don't mind her. She's just trying to conceal her emotions. Sandra is really soft. I bet you during the breaks, she gets her kitchen and she just uh, jump, I don't know, she's like, okay, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Um, please, nobody should enter the studio again. I don't want to be emotional. Ah, that's, yeah, that's what she says. So. <laughs> she's so soft. Sandra would definitely miss you. Um, people don't realize this. Some people just think you just come here to do hard facts, but. You're actually one of the pillars. Yeah, I say that. Beating my chest. You're one of the persons that even our bosses consult when they want to take decisions. Because uh, they trust how knowledgeable you are. You're pretty vast. As a lady, I admire you. Sometimes I stay home. I see uh, you on Billboard. I see you hosting some events. I'm like, hmm, I that something you reach it. That's what I say. Like, I just admire you so much. And... I've not said this. I love how private you are. You're a public figure, yet very <laughs> private. Yeah. Sandra, I love you so much. I'll miss you. You are I a darling. Love you too. Yeah. Thank you. Sandra does not act as if she's advanced. She's older than you. Meet Sandra outside work. She will hold you and twerk for you. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. But yeah, she does that. Sandra Campaign plays it everybody. Of <laughs> she <laughs> plays it everybody. Campaign. And she of knows how to twerk. Okay. Yeah, good, she knows good, how to twerk. You can go now. <laughs> you can go now. Thank you. Okay. And then you can go. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I love <laughs> you and I'll miss you. I love you. I will miss you. Take thank care. you. Those were very kind things to say. Uh, thank you so much. Honestly, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm happy that I was able to make your first day memorable. Yes, and I did. um, you know. Thank you. You know, You're thank welcome. you. I don't even remember that interaction. Of course, you never <laughs> remember, but we definitely will. Um, yeah, yeah. It stays forever. It does. Thank you, Adan. Thank, thank you for coming you. down. I know how much your sleep means to you because you yeah. do like the hard work of staying on overnight. Lagos, if you've never listened to Ada, ah. you should. She's on from 10? 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And she has the, the biggest overnight show in Lagos. I'm not making it up. The numbers say so. And you heard my boss say numbers don't lie. <laughs> And the numbers say that has is number one overnight. So you want to listen to like great content. 10 p.m. You can't sleep. 10 p.m. You're driving. You're going to the club, whatever. You need a companion. Ada is is, is that person so for much. you. Ada, thank Take you. Care, Sandra. Okay, yeah. so I've got Kenny, Sam, and Prince Adenka on Skype. We'll start with Kenny, the and then lie. we'll come to. <laughs> and the numbers say that has. We'll come is to is Prince w- Adenka. So first we'll do um Kenny, and then we'll come to Prince Adenka because he was second on the line, and then we'll come to Sam. Hi, Kenny. Ah, uh, Sandy Jaga. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I bend your mouth. <laughs> If I bend your mouth, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> uh, I go go type out for your Twitter so that you go not say that me call him Sandy Jagger. It's it's great uh, having to listen to you to you on radio. In fact, your call your show made me call the radio for the first time. I, I've never called radio before. Oh, because after I called your show, that I started calling 
calling the uh, sheriff's show also in the morning. Mm. So your show was my, how would I say, it was the, uh, the, the, just like Alex said, made me come out of my shell because I listen to radio, but I don't call. Right. But then I started calling. Right. And one thing I like about you is that you listen to, to, to ideas also, because I, I remember sometimes I share some of the programs I would love to hear on your, on your radio stations. Mm-hmm. And then you just listen, you don't just shove it around, you build flesh around it. I think, mm-hmm. I remember, I think one of the things you did suggest, I suggest eyes and knees. Mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. You, you, you fleshed it up and you brought it to the straight studio. Mm-hmm. Even when some people, because I remember I, I suggested it in one of the programs when they were doing this all star, all, yeah. all the way piece, and yeah. then they just shoved it aside. And I thought I said it to you on your show, and you just just looked at it and you fleshed it up and made it look so nice. Yeah. And other programs like that. So it's 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 nice listening to you. It's, it's kind of impressive. But now you know I know say you don't, you, don't, you said don't jackpot. You want jackpot come meet us for here. Just welcome, welcome with the welcome here. <laughs> Kenny, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, it. Have a nice time. You too. Yeah. All right, let's speak with uh, Prince Adenka and then we'll come to Sam. Prince Adenka, go ahead. You have to unmute yourself um, to be able to talk to me. Hi, Prince Adenka. Okay, it doesn't look like he's ready yet, so maybe I will go to Sam. Sam, are you ready? Sam, are you ready? Unmute, unmute yourself. Hi, Sam. Okay, let's come back to Lagos then. Doesn't look like our diaspora people are quite ready yet. When they call back, they'll join uh, on the call again. Good evening. Ah, uh, finally. Uh, my president. Good evening. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, when I started this, he said, no, Chris, I'm not. I said, no, you are my own president, too. <laughs> you remember? Yes. <laughs> wow. I remember. This is your senior special advisor. I know. Welcome, Chris. Yeah, that, I was just telling him, I said, in two weeks' time, I'll start doing countdown for your birthday. <laughs> when I hear this, I say, oh, what is happening? Remember when you were in um, 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 uh, the God's own country now, during your vacation, I was waving, but your convoy. <laughs> I couldn't drive it. I, uh, that's President Sandra's convoy going in the Bahamas. <laughs> President Sandra, you had all what they said. Yeah. One thing I like about you, you made it known to us. Some of us, when they leave in, they will just disappear. The next thing, when you ask, say, ah, he has moved on. You are the woman of the people, oh. President Sandra. Yeah. Is well with you. Amen. I want to thank your guy. I mean, your husband. Oh. Okay. That guy is wonderful. <laughs> huh? My God. Well, it's well with you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. And thank you for calling every day. I appreciate that Chris called us every day. No matter what was happening in the country, you can expect Chris to call you every day. 99.3. Good evening. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, ma'am? Okay, my name is Sharon. Welcome. Talk to me. Um, my name is Sharon, but Hi. I like to say Sharon. <laughs> All right. All of it welcome. All of it welcome. Um. Well, I don't know what to say. So I I shut um, my turn of my radio because I was reading for my exams in November. Okay. So I was like, I'll stop participating actively. And I was like, okay, let me just listen to the news by six. Okay. And then I heard Yvonne, and I'm like, what's happening here? Like jackpot things everywhere. And to say that you brought, I, I beg to differ, the children and everything. Many things that came with you. I mean, I'm really going to miss you. I I know I called like once in a while, and. I'm always active because of school. Mm. So first thing first, I am because of people like you and then the gang. I'm looking forward to adding um, broadcasting to my law mm. career Ooh, because nice. you guys have really inspired me a lot. Nice. And I mean, there's one thing I like about you, and that thing is I always anticipate your interviews. Mm. You ask really. You put people off, of like you put people on their toes, and I really and I'm, I like that you're bold when you're interviewing. You, there's no fear or favor. 
sometimes I feel like if not that there are some rules, there are some questions that you would have asked that an ordinary citizen would ask. I see you asking them, but for radio, you won't do it. So I really, I really admire you a whole lot. Mm. And I'm really going to miss you personally. Mm. I've cried for an AOP before, and I said I don't want to be attached to anyone anymore. <laughs> and yet, here you are, attached. <laughs> I am. Here you are. Um, you will cry. I'm coming in my full chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going to miss you. I will and too. Counting down my own jackpot things as well. I can't wait to do that. Maybe I'll blow in broadcasting over there. I don't you know. will. You definitely will. I'm rooting for you, girl. Thank you so much for calling. All right, we've got Prince Adenka uh, calling back. Let's hope it works out this time. Hi, Prince Adenka. Hi, Sandy the Jagger. Oh, God. What I will is say wrong Sandy the Jagger now. Whoa. Sandy the Jagger. <laughs> Sandy the <Di> Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra. Wow. Sir, I was uh, I was busy in the office this evening, so I just saw Madam Madeshewa's message mm. that, did I hear that Sandra is leaving? I said, no, it's a lie. <laughs> Quickly, I just went, I didn't even bother to open the app. I went straight to YouTube mm. because I know that you always stream. Mm. I just saw a couple of guys there. I saw Chuma, uh, the uh, Femi and the gang guys there. Mm. What's going on here? And I heard him giving a accolade about you. I said, wow, this is true. Sandra is actually leaving. I said, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, Sandra, hmm. it's been lovely to hear your voice on the radio. You know what I will miss most? What? One of your favorite um, jingles. Kayode. Let me talk. Kayode. If you let me talk, I will let you talk. Kayode. <laughs> and will you believe it that it was yesterday? Because my wife knows that I always listen to you. Right. So my wife was, my wife said yesterday that as Sandra left, that's what she said. Hmm. He said, because I've not heard from her for a long time. Today, when Madam Adisha was mentioning it to me, I just went straight to her. I said, Madam, did you dream? <laughs> Sandra is leaving. <laughs> he said, I just said yesterday that as Sandra left. <laughs> ah, man. Sandra, I wish you all the, uh, all the very best. Thank you. Because in this life, we meet to part and we part to meet. That's right. I know that you're going for a greener pasture, for a better uh, better, better, better life, better level, and I wish you all the all all the very best in Thank life. You. Thank we'll you. We'll definitely miss you on the show, yeah. just like when the uh, the techies left. Mm -hmm. I felt the impact, yeah. but I know Nigeria Nigeria Info will always always bring in another best, always another best of the best, always, always. always. So I wish you all the very best. I will. Definitely miss you on here, Sandra. Thank you. And thank you. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, let's go to WhatsApp and see the messages there. Uh, Rotimi Olofing says, I just tuned in a few minutes ago and was hit by the news that Sandra Ezekwesli is leaving Nigeria in FM. It is said that change is the only thing that is constant in life. I can only wish you the best in your future endeavors. We, your regular listeners on Hard Facts, will surely miss you. Thank you, Sandra, for considering us worthy to know about your Leaving Nigeria info. Rotimi Olofing, thanks for your message. We've got uh, this one here from Tony Tonero. Tony says, Sandra, I'm still crying since you made us know that you are leaving us. I pray for you to succeed in your new environment. It hurts so much to hear you go. But in life, change is always constant. And I wish you well in your endeavors as you progress. Tony Tonero, thank you so much for your message. Henry from Ogun State says, It's hard to believe that you are leaving. I started listening to Hard Facts from Abuja with Kimberly Nwachuku. Then, when I was transferred to Ogun State, I discovered Nigeria Info Lagos, and I started listening to you again. We love you. We'll miss your voice and your humility. All right. Thank you very much, Henry from Ogun State. We've got Progress from Ojodu, who says, I love you, and I'll miss you on the radio. I've met you one-on-one -on -one at Nigeria Info with my students for I Beg to Differ. We are proud of you. Thank you for being you. Progress, thank you so much for bringing your students uh, to I Beg to Differ. I appreciate it. Uh, this message simply says, What? Sandra leaving Nigeria Info? No way. I have planned visiting Sandra as soon as I get to Nigeria on the 21st of August next Monday. I'm really serious. Sandra, please wait for me till I come. I beg you. <laughs> Just to shake your hand for a good job. Hassan from Canada with that message. Hassan, oh, thank you. BK Max from Alimosha says, Sandra, 
I'm celebrating your new adventure because good things can never be hidden. Sandra, it's impossible for people like you to be hidden. You're just too much. Remember my famous quote, a farmer who abandoned his farmland to be invaded by weeds will obviously be greeted with empty harvest. That's a quote I usually direct to our government due to their think-before-you-do policies. But in your case, you are meeting a bountiful harvest because you didn't abandon your farmland to weeds. Oh, PK Max. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, the messages are a lot on WhatsApp, so please, I'm really sorry if I'm unable to read your message. I really appreciate all the messages you're sending. If I'm unable to see yours, I, I'm sorry, but it's a lot. Dozier Din Naji says, uh, you are an enigma in every way. I'm having a mixed feeling that you're blowing out from Nigeria Info. I just know that you have to explore other life's endeavors. But I'm so ecstatic that uh, I met you on this dial. You don't know what you do to your listeners Mondays through Fridays. I will miss you. But all I can say and wish for you is greater heights in all of your life's pursuits. Okay. So what we're going to do on Friday for my last show, usually we do... Um, hard facts awards right and we pick the stories from the week but this friday we're going to give awards to my interviews like what is the most memorable interview for you so you have from now until friday to think about it so friday between three and four you give me a call and you tell me my most memorable hard facts interview is and then you tell me about it um, as we say see you later to each other because like i said it's not goodbye it's see you later because we go we'll go meet for front now We'll go me for fronts. No worry. Let me come back to the phone lines. Zero seven zero zero eight. I'm I'm very afraid of the phone lines because once I hear people's voices breaking and then I want to cry. <laughs> it's easier for me to read messages, but I also want to let people be able to call into the show. So apologies that I'm not taking a lot of calls, um, but I'll take them now. Don't worry. One one minute. Huh? One one minute. Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero one four six five seven one nine zero ninety nine point three. Hello. Sandra. Sir. Oh. Oh. Now, Mama Shekri, they talk Alero. Alero, welcome. Thank you. I love you. I love, I love you. your voice. You are a natural woman, very natural. Your husband is lucky, your children are lucky. Oh. I will miss you. Oh, I will miss you too. Bye bye, Sandra, and bye bye. Three o'clock. Oh. Three o'clock. Bye bye. Oh. I miss you. I will miss you too, Mami Shakiri. Oh my gosh. Alero, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Yes. Ooh, hi. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, sir. What's your name? Oh, unfortunately, the connection is not great. You're going to have to give me a call back, okay? Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. How are you, sir? I'm very fine. My oh. name is AGK. AGK, welcome. Yeah, you know, the first time I ever listened to uh, Nigerian Info is um, around 2019 when I came across that it was your show. Mm. And taught me from that day till today. And nothing can take my 3 o'clock. No station, no any other program can take 3 o'clock. Oh, I'm uh, glad. No, so nothing. You know, it's just not, it's not only about how, you know, when you're leave. Um, we experience that kind of, um, like, see, we are missing something. Mm. It's not just about how you handle the calls or your voice. So what, even if the person is as hard as you, what about the voice? So I think uh, we'll miss you. And of course, I'm following you on social media, and then anyway, you go, I'm coming here. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you for calling i appreciate it uh in the meantime i'm online i'm always online sandra ezekwesili you just if you google sandra ezekwesili all my social media profiles will, will pop up so instagram sandra ezekwesili um facebook sandra ezekwesili twitter sandra ezekwesili s ezekwesili it's the same handle everywhere s ezekwesili ezekwesili spelled e-z-e-k-w-e-s-i-l-i Okay, 99.3. Hello. Hello, Auntie Sandra. Good evening, sir. 
Because this is Vitalis. Wow, wow, wow. I've, I've been crying, though. What, what, what's going on? You just want to leave us to suffer in this country? No, yeah, hmm? yeah I can't leave you to suffer. Yeah, if, if Vitalis from my God, even I wanted to, my niece, I wanted, to, I wanted you to me, uh, mentor her. She will be finishing soon. No. Oh. Yeah, and all the others, uh, I beg to be fuck you. So what are you going to do with them now? Who's going to take care of them we, now? We'll continue yeah? taking care of them. We'll continue taking care of them. Wow, wow, wow. We miss you, we miss you, we miss you. I, 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 oh, my God. Well, anyway, we'll keep in touch. I wish you all the best. But remember us in prayer. We are suffering here. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Vitalis. Uh, Kufariji Olua Sheyi on Twitter says, Madam Sandra, one of the high points of your show was you singing Shade with the PVC whenever Shade called <laughs> during the campaign season. Oh my God, Shade. I do hope Shade is able to call in so that I can sing it with her one last time because she still has a PVC regardless. So, you know, Shade with the PVC. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 99.3. Hi. Hi, Sandra. My huh? name is Polao. Welcome. Oh, Sandra. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's just that uh, we can't tell you not to move forward. Yeah. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. You're kind. Your voice is so sweet. And I wish you all the best. Thank I pray you. that the Lord will direct your path Thank in you. Jesus' name. Thank you. We're going to miss yeah. you. Yeah. And the rest are sure that we'll follow you to wherever you're going to. Ah. We love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Please don't follow me to where I'm going. Stay here. Stay on Nigeria Info. We need you here. One million Lagosians cannot be wrong. And one million Lagosians cannot be wrong no matter who is on hard facts. Okay? Uh, Abiola Benjamin says, uh, Away, am I hearing well? Sandra is leaving care. Abi Sandra has received appointment at Aso Rock. <laughs> The tech is were me more go chidi. Uh Sandra, you too. Make not pity us, Nigeria info now. Ah, no worry. As I they go, hot people they come. See, you're not even ready. You're not ready for what is coming to you. No worry. See, we see what we're cooking, we're cooking. What Nigeria info is cooking for you. You're not ready. You will eat, you will be left food. No worry. No worry. Hey, 99.3. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Samuel. Samuel, hi. Welcome. Wow. You know, I started giving you my afternoon Aww. during the lockdown. Okay. So I... Your feathers are so bright that it's just unfortunate that some birds are not meant to be caged. <laughs> I wish you all the very best. Thank you, God Samuel. Bless you Thank so you, much. Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye, Samuel. And thank you for giving me your afternoons. You know, you give me your afternoons and I give you hard facts. That's right. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Sandra. Hi. This is um, Bioye from Yaba. Bioye, my girl. Bioye has been with me for almost as long as I've been here. Really? <laughs> almost as long, yeah. Oh, Jesus, Sandra. Hmm. I was holding it together until um, Ultima Altine. Hmm. came online, Ultima, and yeah. I just burst into tears. Yeah. You're phenomenal. You're just outstanding. I, like, I don't know what words to use for you, but you're just a beautiful human being. Thank you. I hope that um, glass ceiling is going to go on because that's very, very impactful. And honestly, I was never really into politics until I started listening to you and Sheriff. And I, I can sit, sit down and hold a conversation about what is going on in this country. Right. And it's because of you guys. I, I know that wherever you go, you will shine. You will excel. You have the Midas touch. You're just, I don't know. I, I, I'm really, really going to miss you, but I know you have to go on and do bigger and better things so mm. i follow you on ig i'll look out for you okay i mean god bless you and keep you and perfect all that concerns you thank you so much for being there for us thank and for you. all that you've done and all that you're doing all take right. care and god bless bless you too boa thank you very much i'm not gone yet i'm still here till friday y'all i'm here till friday y'all let's come to whatsapp now um on whatsapp we've got um chooks in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Chooks Nikesha says, Sandra, what kind of play is this? This should qualify as the prank of the year. Sandra, let me talk. If you let me talk, I'll let you talk. Chooks. <laughs> Chooks. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Kelechi from Ikeja says, oh, Sandra, your leaving tells me that life is very short. I will surely miss you. 
And uh, we've got David from Lagos who says, Sandra, you have been an epitome of supernatural splendor on air, impacting more than one million people daily with your right vibes and connect. You've impacted me so much. I have no doubt that you'll do well wherever you're going. I love your show so much. I will always keep your memory just like uh, Momo Kumbaji, Dan Foster, and now you. You are the best. David, that's such a kind thing to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sandra, we love you and we'll definitely miss you, especially first half fact of the day. My God, you are a blessing to us all. I wish you a brighter and greater life ahead. You are love. <sighs> thank you. I appreciate that. Daniel from Lecky says, the only people rejoicing are Nigeria's wicked politicians. <laughs> Charles says, I wish you the best, but I'll miss your golden voice. Uh, David Ebm says, I'll miss your jingle of Coyote. Allow me to talk. I've learned a lot from you and I'm glad it's really worth it. What if we add five million to your salary? Will you change your mind? <laughs> David, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm, who knows? Maybe. We've got Lucy Anikeja who says, I have so many emotions right now. I am short of words. <sighs> OY from Ketsu says, I wish you the best in your endeavors. You rock. Uh, okay, we've got uh, this one from Obina. Obina says, Sandra, what do you want? Anything you want, I go give you. Don't do it, Sandy baby. Please don't go. <laughs> Thank you for everything radio politics. You made Ibejuleki afternoons worth it because we know they ever get light for here. Hard facts don't turn soft facts. See, Lagos, don't worry you. Hmm. What Nigerian food is cooking for you? You are not ready. You're not ready. You think Sandra is a question is great. Wait till you see what we are cooking for you. As in, we are cooking better soup. Just wait. We've got uh, Bonjour Delicacy from I Ijegu. I'm sorry, your name is Bonjour Delicacy. That's interesting. And uh, <laughs> Bonjour Delicacy says, Nigeria Info should please maybe organize one day in a week for us to listen to you on Skype because I don't want to miss you the same way I'm missing the tech heads of What's Up Lagos. I love you so much and I'm going to miss you so much. I love you too. I will miss you too. And I'm grateful that I had you every single day. Robert says, I wish you all the best, um, Sandra. A Jemaini Cotton says, Sandra, you made me fall in love with Nigeria Info. I wanted to say you should not go. But since we're wishing you better things in life, we know that where you're going will be better. This is one of the comments that I remember you of. All right. Um, Ejima, thank you so much. We've got OJ from Alimo Shaw. OJ from Alimo Shaw um, sent a voice note, but unfortunately the voice note isn't loading, so I cannot play that voice note just yet. Um, let's come back to Lanre from Magboro. Lanre says, some of us are crying too. Your team on Nigeria Info is great. You made a difference in this last general elections. All the best, Sandra. Lanre, thank you so much for your message. Good evening to you. Good evening, Madam Sandra. Welcome, sir. You're my last call. What's your name? Wow, I'm the last call. This is my first time calling on the show. Oh, my gosh. Hey, what's your name? My name is Phyllis from Auguste. Welcome. Talk to me. Yeah, you know, the amazing thing is I go everywhere, everywhere with my Palito radio because I just want to listen to Nigeria Info. Uh, Hello? Yes, I'm listening. Yeah, um, you've done amazing and you've done a great job and you've actually informed and reformed me a lot. Oh, I enjoy your show and you've been the most amazing person I've ever met on radio. But anyway, I just want to plead to Nigeria Info to just, I don't know, they should just keep you guys. I don't know, whatever <laughs> it takes. I don't know. Because honestly, I've never tuned or switched channel from Nigeria Info. Ever since um, the tech has left, I mean, it's just from take us to oh and now you I am mean, it's, 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 it's killing. You should just do something about it because 
We're glad that it is and we're glad that you're here every day. Unfortunately, I have a break coming up and then I have to hand over to the sports gang. But tomorrow, 3 p.m., I'll be here and we can keep talking. I'm Sandra Ezekwesky on social media. Those are your hot facts. Lagos, good night. Hey, hospitality lovers, it's time for you to come and experience true hospitality. Come eat, drink, buy, learn, and network as you enjoy amazing discounts and deals from the best.